Neil Gorsuch, for whom you voted, don't you think he's probably going to vote to overturn Roe versus Wade if given the chance? I actually don't. Is Susan Collins the most gullible member of Congress or just the most dishonest? In this moment, she could do something. She could join Democrats in eliminating the filibuster. She could help codify Roe, but she won't. She isn't going to do it. So at the end of the day, she's no better than Mitch McConnell. There are many who believe that Judge Kavanaugh will be the vote that results in abortion becoming illegal in the United States. And I wonder if you're concerned about that. I could not vote for a judge who had demonstrated hostility to Roe v. Wade because it would indicate a lack of respect for precedent. This purportedly pro-choice has been under fire this week after a leaked decision from the Supreme Court shows they're going to overturn Roe versus Wade. In an unprecedented leak, this case, which comes out of Mississippi, reveals that the court is currently aligned to completely overturn Roe versus Wade, which means abortion won't be a fundamental right everywhere in this country anymore. It'll leave it up to the states to decide how they want to regulate abortion. And because Republicans have been working toward this for decades, there are dozens of states, red states, already with laws on the books lined up, ready to go, as soon as that decision comes down, that will immediately ban abortion. So where does Susan Collins fit into this mix? So you have to go back a couple years to the Supreme Court nominations for Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. Both of them, nominated by Trump, were grilled by the Senate for their stance on Roe v. Wade. What would they do if a case came before them that challenged the constitutionality of abortion rights in this country? Would they vote to overturn it? Would they undo past precedent? Or would they let it stand? There's a term for this, stare decisis. And time and time and time and time again, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh both said they wouldn't touch Roe versus Wade. They'd leave it intact. It's precedent. It's good law. Very few people believed them. One person, however, did. Susan Collins. I do not believe that Brett Kavanaugh will overturn His precedents Roe are overturned. V. He noted that Roe had been reaffirmed 19 years later by Planned Parenthood versus Casey and that it was precedent on precedent. He said it should be extremely rare that it be overturned and it should be an example. So you have obviously it. full confidence. I do. In fact, she made a spectacle of her meetings with both of them and especially Brett Kavanaugh about this issue specifically. She was consistently in the media talking about how she believed Brett Kavanaugh when he told her it was settled law and he wouldn't vote to overturn Roe versus Wade, that he'd leave it in place. And again, she is purportedly pro-choice. This is something she's claimed, but hasn't done anything to defend. And now here we are. Gorsuch and Kavanaugh are both voting to completely overturn Roe versus Wade. So they either lied to her or she lied to the public about what they told her. Either way, this is going to have catastrophic effects because you're not going to ban abortion. People are still going to have to terminate pregnancies, whether Roe is on the books or not. The only thing this guarantees is more unsafe abortions. And that's really unfair to people who need reproductive care. And there's a lot of fingers to be pointed. I get it. There's a lot of frustration. And it's not just Susan Collins' fault. Again, this is a fight decades in the making. You could look at Obama, who campaigned on codifying Roe in 2007, and then shortly after taking office in 2009, said it no longer was a top legislative priority. But there's one thing that can happen before this decision comes down, that Congress could do, and that's codify Roe. But what stands between Congress and codifying Roe is eliminating the filibuster. And that's something Susan Collins doesn't support either. So until Susan Collins does that, it's really unfair to even label her pro-choice. In this moment, she could do something. She could join Democrats in eliminating the filibuster. She could help codify Roe, but she won't. She isn't going to do it. So at the end of the day, she's no better than Mitch McConnell.